in this video we will cover few more points about uh, cancer uh, that is how the cancer can be initiated one of that factor is EMT that is epithelial mesenchymal transition uh, what does it means that the transition of epithelial cells to mesenchymal cells usually it uh, happens in three different ways uh, first one is the embryonic development uh, first one that it occurs is during embryonic development and second one is during adult tissue regeneration in both of the in both of them it is highly regulated this transition from epithelial to mesenchymal is highly regulated and the third one is during uh, cancer progression during cancer progression when this happens it is highly dysregulated and so what happens is that the whatever the factors of epithelial cells are slowly starts to decreasing uh, that is uh, we can see that adherent joint cells it starts to decrease and uh, uh, there are uh, other factors uh, such as we have understood in previous uh, videos that e catherin helps the epithelial cells to bind each other and that also starts to decrease as it is one of the property of the cancer cell and these are the other factors that are mentioned here that also starts to decrease and because of this the cells uh, could not be able to bind uh, together as we can see here and uh, they now they are now become uh, mobile and uh, move to different parts of the body that is uh, metastasis or uh, initiate metastasis to transfer tumors to into the another part of the body however uh, this is known as EMT however uh, there is another process that is MET uh, that is mesenchymal to epithelial transition and this thing can be initiated um, with the help of certain small tissue uh, certain uh, with the injection of certain small tissue that helps in the uh, transition of mesenchymal cells to again back to epithelial cells and this EMT process is usually uh, observed in solid tumors where uh, tumors uh, where uh, uh, the infection of the uh, solid tumors is increased with the help of this uh, process that is epithelial to mesenchymal transition and these are the uh, signals as uh, this EMT uh, process is a uh, initiated by uh, signaling that is it receives signals from uh, different uh, factors uh, so it could be either due to, due, due to epigenetic uh, variations so these are the uh, signals that are uh, usually dysregulated or these signals usually enhanced uh, in order to convert epithelial to mesenchymal cells and so this is about the uh, EMT process and how it is related to cancer's progression uh, so now we will uh, discuss slightly about epigenetic priming what is epigenetic priming and how it is initiated in cancer's initiation for cancer initiation or in cancer initiation there are three different uh, methods or three different ways has been proposed in this uh, figure let us understand the panel a first in panel a uh, there is a genetic alteration that occurred in the uh, you can say uh, genetic material uh, that is most of the time is DNA and that leads to the epigenetic uh, priming uh, epigenetic priming let me rewind uh, remind it it is the variation of gene expression uh, compared to the uh, wild type and because of this it leads to secondary mutation and this uh, abnormal uh, genomic changes will further uh, progresses and form the cancer with time and we know that cancer is a multi-step process it does not uh, happen in a day it takes time and second one is the uh, genetic susceptibility that is uh, 
it is expected or it is assumed uh, that there could be a change in the genetic variation and that might lead to epigenetic priming or we can say the initiation of the epigenetic and after that because of the environmental factor that might be due to different kinds of habits that person is habitual to such as different food eating habits that leads to this kind of environmental factor uh, that finally result along with epigenetic priming into a mutation that uh, in future might cause cancer if not been taken care of in between and third one is uh, the same there is no change third one is slightly different that is there is no change in the genetic in the genetic coding or the genome it is environmental factor directly affect the gene expression of the uh, dna that is uh, we can say that uh, this environmental factor might lead to suppression of initiation factor of a particular gene or uh, it over express a particular gene that might lead to epigenetic priming this change in the gene expression and this change in gene expression over a period of time might drive the mutation in the genetic material that is usually dna and that uh, with time or yeah that with time might uh, lead to cancer if not been taken care of as usual or not been detected uh, within a time period during which it can be curbed or cured so these are the different uh, possibilities that are been identified that could lead to cancer initiation uh, that is related to epigenetic priming that's all for this video thank you for your time